Hello, welcome back. So, our next topic is to understand the difference between the class variable and the instance variable. In this video, we'll understand what are class variable and what are instance variable. Class variable, a class variable is will always start with the double at the red sign and the instance variable will always start with the single at the red sign. This is the syntactical difference, but the conceptual difference, the logical difference between both of them is class variable are the global variable in context to the class they are defined in. So for example, I define a class and, uh, and I define a class variable inside that class, then I cannot access that class variable inside another class okay and but i can access that variable inside that particular class anywhere in any method okay and what are instance variable they are different for every object of the class so you can access an instance variable inside a particular class anywhere but the instance variable will always be different for a particular object. Okay, so let's understand this with the practical example. Let's first understand what are class variables. So I will define a class called protagi. Okay, now I will define a class variable. Let's say number of courses. Okay. Uh, right now it is zero, and then I will create a constructor. It's okay if you don't know, if you are not aware of the constructor and the class and method. All you need to do is just focus on this thing, this line, the line number four. You all you need is to focus on line number four. I've defined a class variable now whenever i am going to create the object of this um, class this method will be called automatically we will be we usually call this method a constructor okay this is the constructor in ruby let's say course is this so whenever a new course is uh, published on the protechi the number of courses will be increased by one here yeah, i have ended now to, um, Protechi. Let's create the object of Protechi class and we'll give the course name as Ruby Programming. Now, in this way, I have created the object of the class Protechi. Created the object of class techie okay now we will create the instance method instance method or if you don't understand what is the instance method and what is the class method there are two terms the instance method and the class method we'll be understanding that further in the uh, course but for now I'm just explaining the basics of the instance method to you that Whenever a method is defined in the class, we call it an instance method. Okay, so I will create this method to print the number of courses present on the protege. Number of courses. Why I have created this method? Because I cannot access class variable directly outside the class 
to access this to get the value of this <coughs> class variable we have to create the instance method and then we can call this instance method through the object of this protecky class let's see how now as we have the object of the protecky class by doing protecky dot new and passing the parameter ruby so what will happen is ruby will be passed on here this is the constructor so by doing dot new this method will be called and the course will be passed here and whenever this method will be called the number of courses will be increased by one okay now <coughs> to <coughs> sorry to call this method we have to first create the object of this class here we have created that now we can call this method just by typing the method name okay now to print we have to put p here let's see what is the output one now if i create two courses one is ruby and another is python let's see what is the output we will get the output 2 as you can see the name of both the objects are same but the class variable has incremented by 1 uh, or by 2 you can say because we have created the object 2 times and this method is called 2 times and therefore the class variable is initialized again and again so we get the number of courses as 2 similarly if protechy published one more course on java you can see the number of courses will be 3 now let's understand what are instance variable now here i am going to create the instance variable uh, instance variable always start with the single at the red sign i will pass on the course name so whatever the string i am passing it will come here and it will be assigned to this instance variable okay this is the in instance variable initialization now we can fetch this the value of the instance variable by creating an instance method uh, let's give the name as course Protechy dot name. Now I can call this method, this method which is known as instance method. I can call this method through the instance of Protechy class. What is instances? It instances nothing but just an object so i can call this method and so i can return the course name the course name return is ruby let's format it
here I am doing string interpolation to pass a data inside the string is known as string interpolation. Uh, Post name is Ruby. Similarly, <laughs> now this is the different object. As you can see, first I have passed the name course name as Ruby. So for ProTechy object, the course name will be will become Ruby. And for ProTechy one object, the course name will become Python. Course name Ruby and course name Python. This is because the instance variable <coughs> The instance variable are different for every object. The instance variables are different for every object. Uh, Let's back to that slide. Yes, here there is one more difference which I have not written is ah uh, let's say you have to you have to uh, write that down in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.